I am going to show you uh, how I discovered um, what the easiest way to, for making a, a PNG into an Android drawable vector is. Um, I'm Calphonic and uh, this is my method. Um, so I've got a PNG file here. Um, as you can see, there's some um, white in here that I want to get rid of because uh, I'm doing an Android drawable. So um, what I will do is, first of all, we're going to select the image. Um, then you're going to see an option called image trace. I'm not sure where that is if you're using Windows. Um, I would just uh, look for it. Google it or something. Sorry. Um, so yeah, image trace was that was just always there for me uh, using OS X. So it's trace the image, and now I'm going to expand it. And what that did was it um, kind of created its own version. It cut it out. It looked at it, analyzes it, and um, creates its own. Um, uh, perfect version of it, I guess you could say, um, where there's like no rough edges. Um, so it's, I mean, it's really handy for a lot of different things. Um, and why you're seeing all this blue here is because it um, has already converted it into a vector for us. And these are the paths uh, which the vector follows in order to make this image. So, um, Next thing we're going to do is we want to ungroup this because as of now, when we click on it, it just grabs everything. So I'm going to right click here, ungroup, unselect. Now when I come back over here, I can just, you know, select any uh, part of it that I want. And that's what I want to do. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure that there's nothing on the outside here. So I just selected the outside of that circle, and then delete. Same thing goes for the middle ring there. Delete. And you guys saw how the seahorse um, had a background there. Delete. Um, <clears throat> so now when I select this, and drag it out here, you can see that it's completely transparent where I want it to be. So the next step, um, I mean, you can start with the proper canvas that you want, but um, if, you, if you didn't or if you opened it differently and it um, didn't give you to the right canvas size, uh, just go to um, uh, New, File New, um, and Width and Height you can enter there and uh, just copy and paste. Actually, I'll do it. Let's say you wanted to make this into 24 by 24, which seems to be a pretty popular size in Android Oreo these days. Um, the 24 by 24. All right, so this is what you would do. Just kind of hover over, grab everything. Um, if you want to make sure you grabbed everything, you can just kind of give that a move. All right. Um, go to Edit Copy. Go to your new document and Edit Paste. Now it's going to be freaking huge, right? So. I'm going to zoom out of that, hold down shift to keep my um, aspect ratio, aspect ratio um, the same, shrink it down, bring it into where I want to be, zoom back in, and as you can see, I mean, we could have made this um, relatively um, 
you know, 20 times larger if we wanted to, and it would have still maintained these crisp edges, which is freaking beautiful. I love it. Um, so let me grab this and hit shift. Make sure that we're shrinking it down just where we want it so we're within the image canvas. Okay, so there we go. That's That looks good to me. I got the transparency out. It's already a vector. So now just file, save as. Um, you're gonna change the format to, you might have multiple ver um, uh, versions, formats of SVG. I just pick SVG. Um, and save. It's going to pop this box up, which is quite important because I noticed when things were a little off, I had to do some uh, research. And then once I found these were the settings that work for Android drawables, that's when I switched to them. They worked, and I just uh, don't really change them because that's all I really do with this program. Anyways, um, SVG 1.1. Uh, type SVG, it should already be on that since you selected it. Um, use system fonts, link, you might it might start you on embed, go to link, um, you know, just make sure, go through all your settings, make sure that, I think there's a couple that you're going to want to uncheck and then check in this bottom section here. Um, so anyways, I'm going to hit OK there, it's already exported it. Um, and let's see it's actually right there pretty handy thumbnail that they give, give you for that <laughs> anyways um then we go to this guy last step super easy a-student.github.io forward slash svg to vector drawable converter dot web this tool um, is just brilliant you can simply grab your image, drag it, and drop it, and look at that. Um, another nice thing about this tool is that it, it'll actually show you, because at first when I would I th thought that I was doing it right, I was bringing it in here, and then I'd see the the seahorse would be white, or, or just something would be white, and I'd say, how the hell is that still white? And then I realized that, you know, I gotta delete those sections and make it transparent completely. Um, so I mean, even after you transfer, um, after you convert it, you know, always double check because you never know. You you never know. So that's it. Um, you can see that it shows you a preview of the XML. Depending on what version of Android you're using, you're gonna want to um, double check, and, um, and chances are this isn't gonna be exactly right. Um, this is a few years old, this format. So make sure that, you know, look at other XML drawables in your Android source and make sure that you're um, using um, the right format. Like uh, fill color is different in, um, in uh, Oreo. Um, and I think that should be about it. Pay attention to your um, fill colors. So that'll be it. Um, anyways, you can just save it and boom. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks.